Tonight, an upstate church destroyed by fire has finally been rebuilt. 7 News' Alessandra Young has an inside look. Calpen's First Baptist burned down to the ground the day after Christmas a few years ago. Now I'm standing in their newly built sanctuary where they've just reopened their doors to the community. On December 26, 2020, a fire destroyed Calpin's First Baptist Church. When tragedy comes, and the fire was a tragedy, I mean, it destroyed everything that was here. When that tragedy comes, God's people pull together. Reverend Kermit Morris says the church held so many memories. Buildings where they were baptized, maybe, or had a wedding or funeral, or their parents were buried here. He says they learned that what makes a church isn't the building, but the people. Nobody can ever take those those memories from you. Fire can't take them from you. Cal Penn's Fire Chief Tony Blanton helped put out the fire. The church fire was the biggest fire that, that we've had um, in a long time in the city of Cal Penn's. With firefighters working more than eight hours to put out the flames. It's pretty heart tugging to, to watch a building of that magnitude burn to the ground. Chief Blanton says the fire was accidental and they narrowed it down to an area of the boiler room. At the time of the fire, I wasn't a member of the church here. I actually didn't go to church anywhere. Um, but the church, is, the, the fire kind of pulled me to here to try to help in any way that I could. Even without their sanctuary, Reverend Morris says they didn't stop worshiping. We worshiped in the Family Life Center, which is a metal building right behind us. Last Sunday, the newly built church opened with parts of the old church interwoven, like the glass stained window, the glass in their offering plates, their cross, and the supper table. And it burned inside of it but didn't burn the outside. The top has some scars from the fire still on it. And like us as Christians, we all have scars in our life. Reverend Morris says they're very thankful to have this new church and they were able to pay for it through donations, offerings, and insurance. In Spartanburg County, Alessandra Young, 7 News. Reverend says the new church cost $4.5 million to rebuild.